Hello, good morning, Seema Garg, Associate Professor in Chemistry, SBC Government College, Ajmer. In last lecture, we had learned about stereo isomers, optical isomers. Optical isomers are optically active molecules. For that, it is necessary to have molecule dissymmetry or molecule have chiral center or chiral carbon. Today, we will learn about an isomer, diastereo isomer, want of formula for calculating optical isomers, elements of symmetry and molecular symmetry or dissimilarity. Enantiomers. Enantiomers are optical isomers which are non-superimposable mirror images of each other are called enantiomers. Enantiomers have identical physical and chemical properties but Rotate the plane of polarized light in equal or opposite direction. For example, tartaric acid. Tartaric acid here in structure 1, hydroxy group is on right hand side, whereas in structure 2, hydroxy group is on left hand side. This structure 1 when subjected to polar emitter, it will rotate his plane of polarized light in clockwise direction means plus. So it is dextrorotatory. Structure 2 will rotate plane of polarized light in anticlockwise, it is levorotatory or minus. This meso tartic acid. Both the hydroxy group are, are on same side, here on left hand side and here on right hand side. This molecule is optically inactive because it's, it will not rotate the plane of polarized light. Structure 1 and 2 are enantiomers and 3 and 4 are mesoisomers. Structure 1 plus means dextrorotatory having melting point 170 and uh, it will rotate at angle 11.98. Its density is 1.78 whereas minus also having uh, the melting point 170, but its uh, plane of polarized light angle rotation is minus 11.98. Density will remain same 1.76, whereas meso tartaric acid having melting point 140, 0, it will not rotate plane of polarized light, and density is 1.67. So they are different, having same molecular formula, but its structural formulas are different in space. So they are a uh, mesotartic acid is optically inactive. Uh, this plus is and minus R both are enantiomers. They are different. Another example, 3 bromo 2 butanol. 3 bromo 2 butanol, structure 1 and 2, they both are enantiomers. Uh, they having chiral carbon, 2 chiral carbon, and uh, uh, this will uh, on left hand side, bromine is on left hand side, so it will be plus. And here on domain is on right hand side, it will be minus. So, this 
structure one and two are an isomer structure three and four they having dissimilarity in its uh, chiral carbon uh, means here it is different and this is also different so structure three and four are also an isomer Uh, another example, two, three dihydroxy butanoic acid. Structure one, two. They both are an isomer. Three and four are also an isomer, and all four are optically active isomers. Similarly, two, three dichloropentane. These are also an isomer. and all these structures are also optically active isomers diastereo isomers diastereo isomers exhibits different physical and chemical properties they are not mirror image to each other they are optically active or inactive molecules or isomers for example tartaric acid tartaric acid 1 and 2 are an isomer but structure 1 and 3 are not mirror image to each other so they are diastereo isomers here structure 1 is optically active whereas structure 3 is optically inactive similarly structure 2 and 4 are not mirror image to each other so they are diastereo isomers here structure 2 is optically active whereas structure 4 is optically inactive similarly 3 bromo 2 butanol structure 1 and 3 are diastereo isomers 2 and four are also diastereo isomers and both diastereo isomers are optically active 2,3 dihydroxy butanoic acid structure 1 and 3 are not mirror image to each other so they are diastereo isomers 2 and 4 are also not mirror image to each other so they are also diastereo isomers and all are optically active molecules 2,3 dichloropentane on uh, this uh, structure 1 and 3 are diastereo because uh, diastereo isomer because they are not mirror image to each other and these are also optically active structure 2 and 4 are also not mirror image to each other and they are also optically active 